Captain. Hi. Good morning, you guys. Let's go, Lucy. Come on. Slow but sure. Come on, Lucy. Out. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Get in the truck. Not you. You're trouble. <laughs> Baby's not sm smart or mature enough to be able to go to work with me yet. You ready, Lucy? Hop up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch the door. All right, go ahead. While you, she gets up there, we're heading north. We're gonna drop all of this salt log siding off. We made it. The logs all are good. We got our other pile right over here. These are drying out. We've got to rotate them. Otherwise they'll warp. So as they dry in the sun, we got to keep flipping them and rotating them. Morning, Frankie. Oh, you are here. Yeah. Oh. What were you texting me about? If you left your house yet. I did. I see that. <laughs> did you need it's, something? Well, cutting wheels. Oh. But that's all right. Okay. Oh, what a nice day out. Yeah. We have to unload the trailer, but we've got to keep those logs as flat as possible or they could twist and warp and become useless. The only flat spot we have on the entire property is right in my driveway, but that's full of stuff. So all of that has to go so we can fill the driveway back up with other stuff. That's good now. Okay. Might want to spin your front end. Yeah, there you go. We can put a chain right to that if you want. You know, I've never owned a mini loader like the machine that you see right here. I had seen them in operation from tree companies out and about, and I always thought they were a joke. And then uh, Harry from Top Notch Equipment challenged me to buy one, and I did. I took him up on it, and I'll tell you right now, this is one of my five favorite pieces of equipment of all time. And I swear to goodness, you guys, if you own a farm, a hobby farm, a ranch, or anywhere, this is the piece of equipment that you need. I would say a skid loader is number one, and before a mini excavator, I would buy one of these. That's just how much I use this thing. It goes, it gets used more than my skid loader. So if you guys missed it, all of this is going to be this. What are we kind of we're, we're adding character accent. It's not the actual siding, but it's kind of siding. You trim, you more of that. Trim and like a skirt, and then we're doing a, a one up above. And then we're gonna do cedar side. Maybe you should just subscribe to the channel. That way you'll know what we're doing as we do it. We gotta knock out a bunch of stuff for people around here. You know, when you have a skid loader and equipment, your phone tends to ring even when you don't want it to. 
And not that I don't, I, I mean, I like the neighbors, but I'd rather just work on my own stuff. But let's go over and help, help them out, right? You ready to go? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Lucy likes to follow me pretty much everywhere I go. So, I'm going to be working on this project and to keep... Well, I just basically want to tire her out. I want to keep her away from the equipment a little bit more. So, I'm going to take her for a run. Get some of that nervous energy out of her. And then when we're doing the grading job, she can just sit and relax and watch us without hovering around the equipment. Lucy grew up around here and knows all of these roads for miles around. In fact, she's decided on more than one occasion that we've been way out in the country, further than we ever imagined. God, I love the sound of tracks on asphalt. She would take off and we would find her meeting us back at home. So I'm not too worried about losing her. Came out back into the woods because my cousin said they repaired the bridge. And if we look, this is the bridge he repaired. He repaired the bridge because here's the overflow. Lucy, you should hold the camera for me down there. Okay, so we've got the overflow here because the water comes through here, but when we go this way, do you guys see an overflow? Because I don't. And I had two of them in here. I had two right here so that because this blew out once before blew the whole thing out because water came through here and just you can see where it went there's where it went actually blew out right there put them two overflows in and now they're buried so that means i'm gonna have to come back here another day Put the over put the overflow. Hush. Hush. Shortly we're gonna be pulling into our project. And what you'll see is it's an area where three driveways converge into one main road system. And over the course of many years, all three of these driveways have kind of gotten this weird angle to them to blend into the road and we're gonna eliminate all of that and regrade them so that they can all come in with nice straight shots. We're here. We gotta build a new driveway entrance. Here we go. Everybody's following me in. All right, so a future building pad is gonna go here. We gotta knock this ridge out and blend this because we've gotta move this driveway entrance over this way. So all this has to go. We're gonna bring that up and store it because they're gonna use it for fill up on the lake side of the property and get this all cleaned up. You guys want to meet Jeff? Jeff shot his eye out with a 45 on my land. You guys want to hear the story? Not joking. Hey Jeff, yeah. would you mind telling the guys how you knocked your eye out with a 45? <laughs> this was what, 10 days ago? No, it's about a month. And he's walking and talking. I swear to God, I would have thought we would have been having a different story than standing here having a conversation. So what, can you tell these? Do you mind telling them? No. All no. right. Uh, just a bad ricochet. 
On a frying pan. On a frying pan. So careful what you shoot at. So you had it dished out. So the fr frying pan was aimed this way. And mm -hmm. my understanding is the bullet went in one side. And then... Wrapped, it hit the edge and wrapped right around. And the pan swiveled. Yeah. And came shooting out at me. I wasn't even the shooter. I was off to the side. So... How far? Like you were off to the side a considerable distance, weren't you? Probably a good 30 feet anyway. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just thankful to be here, and and uh, you, you know, just... got airlifted out of the uh, on a helicopter. Yeah, that yeah. was the first time a helicopter's ever been on our land, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I had heard someone had gotten shot in the head on my farm. I didn't realize it was Jeff, my customer. And so when I found out it was him, I wanted to make sure that I brought you guys this story. The bullet ricocheted off from the frying pan, wrapped around the frying pan, and hit him square in the head. And he wasn't the shooter. He was a good 30 feet to the side when all of this happened. You just gotta be careful what you shoot at. I, I'll tell you right now, you guys, I watch Demolition Ranch, one of my favorite channels, but half of the stuff he shoots at, I just shake my head going, how? How do you get away with that? I don't know. But now on this project, what you're going to see me do is use some of this fill soil to build out the sides of the future driveway. So I've got this mound right here, and I'm going to cut that down and use that to establish the new driveway boundaries. So I start, I'm filling in here so that as you guys, you got a straight shot. You have, I, I see your driveway moving over to here. Yep, and then this I'm gonna contour down into the in, into your yard. You're okay with that dirt right there? I'm gonna. Well, I'm just gonna put down seed. Okay. Okay. Good. 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 Um. Yeah, I'm gonna take that bank right there, Steve. How much? You don't own that, right? Okay. Technically no. Okay, but I'm gonna take. Jeff said I can take some of that hill out. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna move it right to here. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take this hill and I'm gonna bring it right to here. So that way, as you guys are coming in and out, you got a very straight shot. So I'll take, I'll probably take almost up to that tree, not down, but I'm gonna contour up to that first tree. So that, that way we've got a nice flowing contour. So one of the things I've got in the back of my mind is yes, we are cutting in a new driveway entrance, but we have an old driveway entrance that we've got to do some remediation on. This, these people don't need two driveway entrances to each of their homes. So wherever their old driveway entrance is, I need to cover that up with some soil that will hopefully provide some cover for some vegetation down the road. So you'll see me working this from both angles. I'll be building the new driveway and then covering up the old driveway. So I'm bulking off first, I'm not contouring. I'm not doing any finessing, not worried about it. I just want to move materials. Once I feel like I've got all the material moved out of the way that I need, then I'll start contouring. I want to get all of this still cut out, but I need to save enough because if I'm rebuilding this driveway entrance, the work isn't limited to there. I want to have a nice grade going to the driveway entrance. I don't want this happening. I want it to just flow, flow, um, flow. 
so let's make it flow so that's why we're going all the way up here our work zones over there but as these guys are using the driveway I don't want them to notice where I worked why do I do that sound all right let's so let's fix this up let's let's continue to bulk off over there then let's add some soil in here and then we also have to contour all the way down this way so that we don't have any sharp ridges like this so we're going to start filling this in because this is where our cars are going to drive With the bulking phase nearing completion, I can start to switch gears and go into the finessing and grading stage. This is where I fine tune and tweak everything. I eliminate all the waves in the roads, I blend the new driveway with the old driveway and then with the old road coming into it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick this driveway up from around the corner over here, and I'm not changing any grades, but I want the driveway to not seem so fresh. So I'm just gonna borrow a little of the top dressing from throughout here and define the area because we're not importing the uh, asphalt millings, uh, somebody else is. And when they come out, they may not know exactly where to go. And if I can outline that area a little better and just say, hey, here's the driveway, and let the neighbors here, I mean, let these people here start to, you know, use it and compact it and everybody else define those areas. It just makes life easier. So let's get defining. This area, this actual driveway, because these were really old farms, and the road used to come in that way. Over a hundred years old, like 101 or something like that. So I guess technically we're working on a 101-year-old gravel driveway, but here she is. Done here, pow. Hills carved out, contours are blended here here asphalt millings will go in that'll create the crown for the new driveway i wanted to soften this up there was no way grass was going to grow this driveway would look like a driveway if i didn't import and put some new material in right along here and now as we look down i say that's a pretty straight run we don't have a lot of top dressing on the driveway but we didn't import any zip all we did was just borrow big borrow and steel came down go this way up all right you guys well that's our video for today i I'm, I'm not done by far so if you guys see another video and it looks like i'm dressed exactly the same it's because i'm going over to my land and we got a lot a lot of work to do we're gonna drive over to my place